There we go, Yvonne Elliman. If I can't have you, I don't want nobody, baby. Famous last words. I'm thinking right now, how many girls have told me, Bobby Remus, if I can't have you, I don't want nobody, baby. Let me see here. How many girls have told me that? Let me see here. Uh, at least 17,482 times. I guess that's the... Uh, that, if I can't have you, didn't really uh, live up to its little statement, did it? Anyway, good morning, Freeform Friday. It is 9.22. Um, logged on a little bit early this morning. I was feeling the Friday fever, so I said, you know what? I'm going to go out and get on a little bit early and do our thing and bring in the weekend. Well, help bring in the weekend. That's what it's all about. Anyway, some let me click right over there. There we go. Good morning, Jedi. Good night, the Double R Radio sponsor, Cindy Martinez-Hernandez, who says, Early start, Robert Rivas. Yes, early start. Why not? Right? Why not? Um, had a bad morning doing the Uber thing. So when things are going bad, push that to the side and try to make things better. And to me, music has always been my best medicine. And that's true. That really, really is. Now, that being said, let's see here. What the hell's going on out here on this Freeform Friday? Now, We'll start off with some really crazy news here. San Antonio, Texas. A homeowner fatally shot a suspect during a home invasion right here in San Antonio last night. Let me give you the lowdown. A San Antonio homeowner fatally shot a suspect who allegedly broke into a home on the city's southeast side Thursday evening. The home invasion occurred just around 10 p.m. near the south side of San Antonio. The suspect invaded the house by breaking into the laundry room in the back of the home now that being said police said the female in her 30s was inside her home with her three children when the male suspect invaded the property the female resident pulled out a gun after hearing the suspect inside the house she then shot the intruder in the chest and killed him you know what um i understand somebody got killed in this i get it the guy had no business being in there. But hey, man, when you're trying to protect your property, your children, yourself, you got to do what you got to do. And there we go. Uh, for the suspect who got killed, wrong place, wrong time, wrong person. There you go. Simply crazy, man. But like I said, hey, man, we got to protect what we got to protect. That's just the way it is. And uh, wow, just simply crazy, crazy story. And all I'm going to say is more power to the mom with her three kids for defending her kids, herself, her property, etc. Wow, simply, simply crazy stuff. Let me see here. Good morning, Jada. Good out to Dallas, Texas, in La Casa. Donna Contreras. Good morning, Donna. Hopefully all is well. Now let's see here. What the hell else is going on? Iowa. An Iowa egg laying farm killed 5 million chickens. And fired over 200 workers. How do you kill 5 million chickens? No, that's not a joke. How do you kill 5 million chickens? Anyways, animal rights activists are up in arms over a report that a chicken farm in Iowa killed more than 5 million chickens after detecting a case of avian influenza in what activists say was a gruesome method of killing chickens. Wow! Uh, the factory farm later dismissed more than 200 workers it had tasked with slaughtering the hens. Man! <laughs> wow! How many? Wait a minute here. Let me go back here. How many chickens? Five million chickens! Wow! Uh, let me see if I can find out how they killed them. What did they do? Leave them alone! <laughs> Five million chickens. Uh, now, let me see here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now, I'm going to give you the lowdown here. Now, the method that was used to kill the chickens, the five million chickens, they claim was horrifying. They were essentially roasted alive. They were cooked from the inside out. Um, how, uh, huh? They were cooked from the inside out. How does that work? Well, anyways, dead is dead. Well, anyways, chicken activists are up in arms over uh, the method that was done to kill over 5 million hyenas, 5 million chickens. 
I'm sure they didn't want to do that, man. I mean, those are your money makers, but I mean, obviously they thought they were doing right because these chickens had as they, uh, acquired a disease. So, man, but five million chickens, that's a lot of eggs. Woof. Anyways, man, crazy story. It really, really is. Now, let me see here what else is going on. Let me click back over here. We're good to go. Good morning, Jada. Good after Mr. Sean Zambrano. He's uh, answering your question from yesterday. I'm back in Gonzales, Texas. That's awesome, brother. Anyways, it's good to hear from you. Hopefully, all is well in Gonzales, Texas. Now, let's see here what else is going on. Check this out. More stories from San Antonio, Texas. Uh, there is a place here in town that is called um hops and hounds okay you're probably going what's that robert what's that robert do they have good food robert um hops and hounds is a pet friendly san antonio bar <laughs> where you can have a drink take your dogs and they run around do their thing while you're having your drinky poo and so on and so on sounds okay i guess right well the kicker here is that hops and hounds lately people who have taken their pets their animals their dogs their cats right let them run around whatever while they're having their drinks well lately the people have been leaving their pets there and leaving <laughs> and poor dog and cat hey man, hey, man. <laughs> 2:30 in the morning <laughs> employees are going hey man where's your owners dog going Ruff. Ruff. <laughs> Ruff. <laughs> right. I don't know. Well, anyways, uh, owners lately have been leaving their dogs and cats there and not coming back for them. So Hops and Hounds is ending up staying with these animals and having to find homes for them. So um, I don't know what to say about this, man. This is sad. It really, really is, man, to take your dog or your cat to a place like this and just leaving them there. <laughs> Honey, honey, the dog has his back turned. Let's vamo risky out of here. All right, all right, the dog got his back turned. Let's go. And there you have it. <laughs> I mean, really, man, for this place, Hops and Hounds, that is a place where you can take your animals and then have your drinks. Heck, man, even two or three dogs have been seen with a martini glass going, hey, man, this is la Vivin La Vida Loca right here, man. There you go. So Hops and Hounds, there we go. People leaving their animals there. Good morning, shout out again after Mr. Tony Rivas. Primo, good morning, Tony. How we doing, amigo? Primo. Este, he says, Sean Zambrano, we need to get together. I have no problem with that, brother. Let me know next time you're in San Antonio. If I'm in Gonzales, Texas, I will get a hold of you as well. Let me see here. How much time do I have? I got some time here. Let's see what else I want to talk about here. Now, check this out. You know, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but, you know, when kids are playing sports, soccer, baseball, football, parents always seem to get involved more than what they should. Now, here we go. Um, a woman, a kid softball umpire, says she was punched by a disgruntled parent after a game. <laughs> This all went down in Mississippi. I sure am glad not San Antonio because a whole lot of stories just uh, have been come out of San Antonio, man. Anyways, a children's softball coach is speaking out after she was allegedly attacked by a parent at a 12 and under game. <laughs> hey, where's your mommy? Uh, she's punching out the umpire. She'll be right back. <laughs> right. Pam, 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 Pam. Now tell me she's out again. Pam, Pam, <laughs> right, right. The one part is going, she was safe. She was safe. <laughs> Man, <laughs> that poor little kid, right? Where's your mommy? Uh, she's punching out the umpire right over there. There we go. And uh, where's your mommy now? Oh, she's being thrown in a police car. She's been handcuffed. There we go. Uh-huh. <laughs> Parents, man, I'm telling you, crazy stuff. It really, really is. You know, um, I was really, really tempted. Good morning, Chad. I'm going to the La Estrella de Seguin, Texas Star Ray. She said, good morning, honey. Good morning. Also, good morning, Chad. I'm going to Olga Cervantes. She said, good morning, Robert. Have a good day and a good weekend. And you as well, amiga. There we go. Also, good morning, Chad. I'm going to the ever so political Michelle Cohen. Good morning, Michelle. Also, good morning, Chad. I'm going to Mr. Leroy Lujan. I like to go, Leroy Lujan. 
from uh, <laughs> Feeling Positive in Colorado. Hey, amigo, congratulations on your new job. I saw your post that you had gotten a new job, more money, and everything. That's simply awesome, dude. Right? There we go. Nothing wrong with making a little extra money. That's what it's all about. It really, really is. You know, um, let me see here. We'll do one more here. Now, here we go. Starbucks. A Starbucks employee claims that she was denied time off and compensation after incurring second-degree burns on the job. There we go. I'm telling you, man, I've talked to two or three people out there doing the Uber thing where people are getting injured and companies do not want to give them time off or whatever. But the one kicker here, I'm going to give you all some very, very good advice. I'm not a lawyer. I tried. I took one day of lawyering and it just didn't work. If ever you get injured on the job, don't go to their doctor. Go to your own doctor. Their doctor works for them. You can have a broken leg, a broken arm, and a broken neck, and they're going to look at you, their doctor, and they're going to go, you're okay. Go back to work tomorrow. Broken leg, broken arm, broken neck. You're going to be all right. Just go back to work tomorrow, and you'll be all right. Go to your doctor, man, and your doctor's going to give you a year off with pay. There we go. That's true. That really, really is. Well, anyway, it's a Starbucks employee claimed that she was denied time off after incurring second-degree burns on the job. Get a lawyer. Now, you know, uh, this morning, sometimes I get lazy doing what I'm doing, and, uh, well, as to this morning, um, I was going to pick up some breakfast tacos at Taco Cabana. So when I went to Taco Cabana, I went through the drive thru and, and they go, Welcome to Taco Cabana! They always yell at you at Taco Cabana. Welcome to Taco Cabana! And I go, man, why do you need to yell at me? I'm just here to order some tacos. Don't yell at me. I'm not your husband. Don't yell at me. I'm sorry! Okay, uh, you're sorry. Um, can I take your order? Yeah, l let me have a... Uh, let me see here. Let me have one blanquillo con huevo. Okay, one blanquillo con huevo. And uh, let me have one huevo con blanquillo. One huevo con blanquillo. And uh, let me have uh, one taco fifol. One taco fifol. Okay, anything else? No, that's it. It's a dollar extra for combination. Dollar extra for combinations. I want one blanquillo con huevo. One huevo con blanquillo. That's a dollar extra for combinations. Man. I said, no, that's all right. So I got out of the drive-thru, went around, and threw her the finger, and just came home and made myself some coffee. That simple, man. I'm not going to deal with any of that crap. Not going to do it. Uh -uh. <laughs> not going to do it. <laughs> Anyways, it is Freeform Friday. Let me see here. I got something lined up for y'all. Let's keep it going. Buenos dias. How we doing, everybody? Friday morning it is. It's 9.35. Got an early start this morning. Why not? I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee right now. Anyway, YouTube viewers, good morning. Also, be sure and subscribe if you haven't by now. Also, show me some love and share some of my videos to all your friends and neighbors, whoever you know. The more, the merrier. That's what it's all about. Let's get back to the morning show. Uh, let me click right over here. We're going to click right over here. We're good to go. There we go. Click right here. Boop. And we're going to click right here. Adios.